Uh, first off, I'm going to say, if you hear music in the background, the guy's called the Fat Rat. He don't uh, strike your channel if you uh, just give him props. And I will. I love his stuff. All right, I'm doing the uh, Gable Ends. And there's only one joist down there. And I didn't want to put one screw. So what I did is I glued and screwed a block down really well. And I went up to the top, of course tied into the uh, the truss, and I did that one too, and I got one you can't see because I'm up here in the attic. And this side I went ahead and got done tying the trusses together. I, like I said, I just didn't have anything to tie to, so I used copious amounts of uh, construction adhesive on there, put two screws on the bottom hold it down where the glue would take hold and just screwed it up going to the top I think I'll be okay that uh, by the time I go all the way across I think I'll be fine I've got a question for you guys in the trades <clears throat> let me get around here I'm sorry it's so fucking dark up here I uh this place ain't easy to get around in Where's it at? No, it's not there. Hey, see, I did them all the way down. I, had to, I got to move all my crap up here. It's stored. And, uh... Well... Where'd it go? Maybe it's farther down. I don't want to chop this up. I'm just going to do one shoot. I ain't a professional learning shit like that. Yeah, here we go. I'm finding it. Just give me a second, yo. Bring the light up. They didn't, uh, they didn't glue the decking down on the trusses. And I don't know what y'all think. What I did, just as an experiment, I ran some, uh, Lucite Loctite, there's a bit of a gap, and they only used, I think these are either six or eight ring shank, that's kind of, I don't know, if I had built the place, I'd have used number 10 ring shanks, uh, I don't know if this is sufficient, you guys in the trades, let me know, Mike, kind of let me know, I respect your opinion on this kind of stuff, but this is what they use to nail the decking down. Looks small to me. I can't tell if it's a six or an eight. But, uh, this seems small. But what I did, just an experiment, I run a bead of that Lucite Loctite. I'll use whatever construction adhesive if I happen to buy at the time. There was a bit of a gap. So I shot it up in there and forced it in there to hopefully try to hold some of this, uh, decking down. If, uh, you guys think that's worth the trouble in the money. It takes about one tube to do uh, three trusses, which, I mean, it's not that bad. You know, I mean, construction adhesive, I think, is still fairly reasonable. But if uh, anybody out there like to chime in, whether that's worth doing, I'm gonna do it on both sides if I, everybody thinks it'll work. Uh, I'm kind of doing the same thing in my great room, I've got to do some three-quarter inch rip down so I have an air gap. I'm going to put vents in the end so whenever I uh, staple them down, I'm going to put Loctite in the corner. Just use some uh, brad nails, hold it in place until it dries. So, uh, let me know what you think. And as always, y'all have a good one. Alright, I'm going to add a little one here at the tail end. I went ahead and just did this one all the way up to the peak. I'm going to climb up here before I get all this stuff. i got so much junk stored up here. And uh, before I drag everything over, well, my son and daughter-in-law is doing that for me on this side. But I went ahead and did that one from front to back. Just... Uh, I'll come up in a few days and kind of look at it and see if it's got hard 
Well, like I said, let me know, guys. Have a good one.